So now we're actually going to try and put together a PE point, a detailed one to a high level. And I would say we're looking at the writer's intention, and we're looking at things like uh, social historical context, link to lit, link to other literature, audience, reaction, etc., and language analysis. So we'll look at a couple of these in this one. So let's imagine we're doing this question, how does the inspector take control? So I'm going to start with, I'm going to imagine that I'm halfway through my essay, or maybe three quarters of the way through my essay. So I'm going to start with, Another way the inspector has shown his control is in the influence he has over Sheila and Eric. And that's my point, clearly demarked. Now I need some evidence, so I'm going to put that in here. This is obvious when Sheila says, the point is, you don't seem to have learned anything. And this is the discussion that the young Burlings are having with the elder Burlings after the inspector has left, or just around that time. Now I'm not going to start explaining this. This and this together probably get me a low D. I can make a point and I actually can support it with evidence. However, I haven't explained it. Now I need to start doing this and I'm going to pick out the points from the top here and show me using them time as, sorry, as they go through. So first of all, I need to tie it together. From this, the inspector's influence is evident. She has turned, he has turned Sheila from a young materialistic girl to someone who's going to stand up against her parents and their narrow-minded, selfish, capitalist ways. So I've summed up my explanation there, and that should get me a low C, just from my understanding. Now I actually need to start tying it in. So first of all, what could the writer's intention be? So this is in my explanation, and I keep developing it. Through this, Priestley has shown that the younger generation need to stand up to the upper classes who are set in their old ways. And this would be a universal message coming from both young in the upper class and young of the working class. It needs to be stood up to. If I look at the language analysis here, so I'm going to go into that and break it into a second point. The word anything shows the despair she feels for her parents as the emotional and painful effects of the evening have been wasted on them. So I can break off again, and now I can look at perhaps the audience reaction, and I develop it even further. The audience at this point would be siding with Sheila, enraged at the backtracking of their parents. And here I'm going to mention something, so I want to make that cyclical connection. I'm going to mention a cyclical connection and say, especially with Burling, who just moments ago had offered thousands in an attempt to put things right. And as you can see, putting this whole essay together in this style, it just breaks it down. It's not illogical. I can just build and build and build. Now, I've picked those three or four things from the uh, items that I'd normally mention in explanation simply because they're the ones that best suited this. There's no point trying to write every single one for every single PEE point because you'll be repeating yourself often, and moreover, you're going to lose the ability to become concise. So when mentioning points that support each other, brilliant, get as many down as possible. However, when it comes to choosing which of these analytical skills to delve into, make sure you choose the ones that are most apt to the point that you're trying to make. We'll go into another example now on the next video for Of Mice and Men.